This is the image I will try turning today to something more dramatic by using various tools in Snapseed. First in Snapseed, I will straighten the image using the rotate tool. As auto straighten didn't give result to my liking, I will try straightening the image manually. Next I will try to dock on the overall image but try to recover some details in the sky by reducing the highlights. This time I will also decrease the shadows to make the darker parts more dark. Using selective filters, first I will try to darken the sky further by reducing the brightness. And then try to recover some blues by increasing the saturation. One more on the buildings. some increase in contrast also saturation for more color and a bit of sharpening by increasing the structure to add some vignetting i will use the vintage filter with the preset 12 you can also try using the vignette filter, this is just a personal preference. So after applying vintage filter with masking, that is tap the strikes icon on the top right then view edits, then the vintage layer and brush. Here I will remove the masking, that is remove the vintage filter effect at around here to make it look where the direction of the light is coming from. Apply it. Now for some dodging using the brush tool. Here with the value of 5, I will brush over the walls of these buildings where the light is supposed to hit. Just brush it over till the desired brightness is achieved. With the curves, I will try to blow the highlights to make the image pop. Just drag the upper part of the curve to brighten the bright parts, leaving the darker parts as it is. As there is still room for some saturation in the sky and on the structures, I will use the selective filters again, this time only to add more color to the sky and the buildings. To get the buildings a more warmer look, using white balance, I will increase the temperature a bit and then apply it only on the buildings using masking. I will try to make the lower part of the image bit more dark to give more limelight to the main buildings. To do that, decrease the brightness in the tune image.
and with masking, apply it only on the lower part of the image. You can toggle the eye icon to see where the effect is getting applied. So here are the changes which happened after each effect was applied. Thanks for watching.